So once we're at this point, we are going to grab our vodka. And again, ooh, oh my God. Oh, just can't get the professionals these days. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Experience Bar, where we're turning video games into cocktails. My name is Jack and I'll be your bartender for this evening, so I show you how to make a drink that's real brain food. The Ceramorpha Shot, inspired by Baldur's Gate 3. Let's get started. So I was a really big fan of the uh, original Baldur's Gate. It was one of the first games that I ever played. Um, I can't say I got really far because I was pretty young back then uh, and I wasn't very good at video games. So I'd just keep dying and I'd go back and just recreate characters over and over and over again. So I learned the interiors and exteriors of Candlekeep uh, very, very well, but not so much the rest of the game. Now that Baldur's Gate 3 has come out, though, I'm, I'm really excited to kind of, now that I actually know how to play video games properly, um, and I knew that I wanted to make a drink around it because I've, I've bought into it, I'm into Early Access, and I've really enjoyed it so far. But because it is Early Access, they haven't released a lot of the game yet so there isn't too much for me to recreate. So when I wanted to make a drink, I decided to take a little bit of inspiration from what I can, what I think are the primary antagonists, you know? Larian Studios tends to change the plot about halfway through their game, so who knows, but I wanted to take a little bit of inspiration from the Mind Flayers as the primary antagonists. So for the Ceramorpha shot, what you're going to need is a shot glass. We aren't using ice, this is not a complicated drink. Um, you're not gonna need a shaker, you're not gonna need a strainer, you're just gonna need a shot glass and a few select ingredients. The first of which is uh, ruby grapefruit juice. You can use regular grapefruit juice, but I think ruby um, looks better uh, and it tastes better as well. So we're gonna fill that up to around about halfway. A little bit less, there we go. And we're not doing any like specific measurements here. You can just eyeball this, don't, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Next, you're going to need a syringe, not a medical syringe, you can just get a shitty $2 one um, that has a nozzle on it. The nozzle is important. Uh, and it doesn't have to be huge either, I just got a big one, this is just what I've got. I think it's from a Halloween costume I did a few years ago, but that's what you're gonna need. And you're going to need Irish cream. It doesn't have to be Baileys, if you're fancy you can use Baileys. I'm not, I'm using Canterbury cream, which is like the cheap version of Baileys here in New Zealand. Um, you're going to suck it on in to your syringe. You're probably not gonna need too much of it, but more is better than less with this particular recipe. Turn upside down and do that thing that you see doctors do in the TV shows and just push the air out so that it is right on the tippy tip tip. There we go. Pop that to the side. And as you've probably guessed, what we're gonna do is spill it all over the table first. <laughs> No, we are going to pop it so the nozzle is right in the water. That's where you want it. And you're just going to slowly push down on the plunger. And you'll see that the Irish cream is kind of making these weird wrinkly brain-like patterns, I guess you could call them. That is because the Baileys is Baileys. The Irish cream is curdling. Now that sounds gross, but I promise you it's not. Do it as much or as little as you want. You might get a little bit on the side of your shot glass. Again, don't worry about it. This is not a fancy cocktail. Just make it so it looks cool. All right, see that? Little brain at the bottom of our glass there. Next, we're actually gonna make this drink a little bit more alcoholic. You can skip this step if you don't want it to be you know, very, very alcoholic. It's still not going to be. Uh, but if you're like the designated driver, the sober driver, and you still want to enjoy a drink, you could uh, skip this step. Remember that Irish cream is still alcoholic, but we're only putting a very small amount in and it's not very strong by itself. So don't worry too much about it. So once we're at this point, we are going to grab our vodka. And again, ooh, oh my God. Oh, just can't get the professionals these days. Let's try that again. That's going in the outtakes, isn't it? That's going in the outtakes. Oh my God, okay. So you're gonna grab your bottle and you're gonna just carefully twist it off because you have very shaky hands because you're scared because you're on camera. You're gonna pop it to the side very carefully. And then you are going to pour it in there. Don't worry if the Bailey stuff gets knocked around a little bit, it will sink back to the bottom. If you wanna be careful, you could put it in the syringe again and like squirt it in there. If you wanna do that, you can but you don't have to. And that pretty much is the drink with one last exception. Again, another optional ingredient. This is grenadine. 
what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour that in carefully, 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 carefully. I always, I always lean down. I always lean down when I'm putting drinks in like this and I feel like it makes a really bad shot. So I'm gonna stand up nice and straight with my bad posture, make it as good as possible. And we're just gonna very, very carefully. What you're gonna see is one, it colors the drink down the bottom, adds a bit of sweetness to the drink, but more importantly, it kind of like sinks down through the brain so it looks like blood. So you've got a nice bloody brain at the bottom there. And that is the Ceramorpha shot. Again, you don't have to use ruby grapefruit juice, you can just use regular grapefruit juice. You can use Baileys, you can use Irish cream. You don't have to put vodka in and you don't have to put the grenadine in. But if you want this, that's how you make it. But these drinks don't happen without some serious support from our community. So I wanted to say thank you to all of our patrons, in particular, Jeremy N. Rogers. If you're watching, tell us what the N stands for, please. Cheers. I'm not very good at taking shots, so that took me a moment. Apologies. Um, the Ceramorpha shot. Yeah, not a super strong drink. Uh, you could put, if you wanted to make it stronger, you could use some uh, stronger vodka, maybe um, some, like that, some of that 90% stuff that you guys get uh, in the US. I know that that could make this really strong, but this isn't really a drink designed to be, make a lot of them, it takes a while. It's more of a drink that you get your mates and you just say, hey guys, check this cool shit out. And you go plonk, and then you do the Bailey's trick, and you do the curdling trick, and then you do the grenadine trick. It's very much a presentary beverage. Um, it tastes, it tastes like grapefruit mostly. Um, it's got a little bit of heat from the vodka in there. And the Bailey's, yes, I know it looks really gross, but the thing is because you're shooting it back, um, you're not actually getting that nasty curdle texture for very long. Um, if you've ever had a concrete mixer, don't worry about it, it's not like that. Um, it's very much like one and done. So what I wanted to achieve with this shot was to make a drink that a mind flare or an illithid uh, would find appealing, you know? With that little brain at the bottom, it, as you go through that first initial environment, um, one of the things that I didn't realize when I first played through Baldur's Gate 3, that first initial environment has all these kind of brain decor things. My favorite one was the um, brain coral. They got this kind of aquarium, what looks like an aquarium. But if you look at it carefully as your character, it talks about how all of the coral in there is actually just differently shaped brains. It's kind of weird, and that's actually what kind of inspired me to make this, to make a drink that had a brain at the bottom, because illithids, everything's brain related, you know? I mean, they are called mind flares for a reason after all. But yeah, it's a simple drink. It's, it takes a little bit to make, but it's cool. People will be, will be impressed by this if they haven't seen something like it before. And I think it's thematically consistent with the game. I am very much looking forward to them bringing more pieces of the game out and seeing if there's any more alcohol that I could recreate from the game. Uh, because we have done a source drink for Larian's previous game, Divinity 2, and I'm hoping to be able to do something similar with this one. But yeah, that's the Sarah Morpha shot. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourself as much as I have. Um, if you've got a suggestion for a game or a drink that you'd like to see, let us know in the comments below. If you want to see more of our stuff, we've got uh, a website, an Instagram, a Twitter, um, a subreddit, and we've got a Discord where we do actually play D&D on a regular basis. So if you're a D&D fan, come and check us out there. Um, and we're also producing new content on YouTube every couple of weeks. So I hope to see you then, but until then, cheers. It's not really great to cheers with an empty drink, but that's what we got.